Hi, I'm Billy Styles, and I want to talk to you about fire ants. Man, I remember one time I picked up a bell of pine needles, one of my first experiences with fire ants. When I left that guy's home, I was in my underwear. Now, I know that doesn't, that might scare you a little bit, but hey, that's the way it was. They were all over me. I was stripping and ripping. Fire ants are dangerous. Some people are highly allergic to them. If you have fire ants around your home, don't go putting out a broadcast treatment that can be more toxic and more dangerous to your pets, kids, and the environment than the very fire ants themselves. Now, when it comes to mounds and using bait, you know, 80% of America uses bait, and it's one of the least effective ways to control fire ants. Without the queen dying, you're not going to get control. So your goal in fire ant control around your home is the queen. And when you come to a mound like I'm getting ready to show you, we're going to use our bug out that we have mixed up in a handheld watering container. And we're going to soak this mound until we saturate all of the chambers. And once that's done, over a two-day period, that mound is going to be eliminated. Now, fire ants can be hard to get under control, and some will say that you can never get them under control. But when they're around your vegetables, around the sandbox, or anywhere that they may be around a swimming pool or waterway that you don't want to put toxic chemicals around, bug out controls is the product you want to use. Now let's go down on this fire ant mound here and hope I don't get stung too many times today, okay? All right, now here is a mound and here is our pre-mixed bug out solution. What I like to do is, now I want to, I want to take a step back. They nest during the heat of the day, a lot like the mosquitoes seek shade. And this is where they're all at home, okay? We're gonna go, they're not out foraging now, they're waiting till this afternoon. So we wanna come out here in the heat of the day, whenever I start cutting off some of this top, they're gonna to start pouring out. When they do, I'm gonna start pouring it on, if you get what I mean. And we're gonna take these things out as much as we can today. We're gonna to come back and we're gonna rip Repeat the process tomorrow to eliminate this mound and this thread. Okay? All right, let's get it started. And if you want to, you can do that right there. And now that they're exposed, this is allowing me to really hit the target. They're not getting out away from the mound there. You see what I mean? Let's just stop and take a look at it. The bug out has slowed them down, as you can see. They're already starting to mound up and pile up dead. If you look down in here, you can see them. It's a little bit hard to see. But these chambers here is reaching down into those multi uh, chambers on the ground here. We've got some coming out the side over here. So I'm going to open this up a little bit. And see when I opened up these chambers here, now let me, all right, there we go. See these little holes here? This allows our liquid to flow deep down into the, uh, into the mound. And you can see it kills them pretty much on contact. Now I'll finish pouring the rest of this on this mound. I'll leave it alone. And if any survivors will come in and request this tonight, I'll come back and cut it off and go down deeper because we want to remember we want to get to queen. But see how they're all laying here dead, already mound together. So bug out, you work, and you're non-toxic. Love it. This mound's gone, no toxicity. Think of if this was around your kids, the sandbox, or that vegetable garden. You're gonna be able to take them out without any toxicity. Till next time, I'm Billy Styles.